the worst sandwiches ever. <laughs> We're down to the rim, see? There ain't much left. What'd you say, Brett? Wake up. It's time. Jam shit around. Time to get it. What do I got right here, Vic? I got two PBJs. PBJ. Let me tell you something about a PBJ while you're fishing. PBJ, get your hands sticky if you get your hands in that jelly. I did it yesterday. You didn't know that, did you? Did you know that, Brody? PBJ is good to eat on the water, but if you fool around and get your hands in that jelly, you got sticky hands. I did it yesterday. Don't do that. Then you gotta lick them off. Yeah, yeah. And then you're like sitting here and you got jelly hands. And, and it's just pretty nice if you don't eat like a barbarian. But yesterday I had I had jelly on my hands. I had sticky hands. It's the downside of PBJ. If you get that, that strawberry jelly. Well, that was that was probably well. That's what it was. It was Vic's. It was Vic's fault. She just had an uneven. No, no, no. Well, you see this. She, she just had it over. You see that. See that overflow? She over, overspray. See the overflow right there? Yeah, overflow. Yeah. So when I grabbed him to eat him, it was like, I was like, dang. Oh, so it's your I, fault. Yeah. So you never, you never, you never blame Yeah, man, I had I like mean, sticky I hands and I was like, If man, you were only surrounded by water to rinse them off or something like that. I had to just lick my hands the whole time. I couldn't even make no cast. <laughs> uh, you just had a freaking cast yeah, with your feet, man. I want to get my rod steep. I'm tired. I'm tired. Fish two days. That's what sucks about being in Group B, too. My goodness, man, Group B. Group B, every time I'm in Group B. Last two tournaments I've been in Group B. I've been in Group B the last two times. And every daggum time, every time, Group B, you fish on the second day. If you, don't, if you ain't fortunate enough to qualify and go all the way to the championship round, you gotta fish knockout round. And then, thank goodness, we're fishing championship round. But if you look right now, look right straight up there. It's bomb down cloud. They ain't biting no crap. Oh no. Ah. Ah. Leave it on even numbers. You always got to. At least a couple of them. <sighs> all right. Let me go here and pay. Cause if I don't pay, I'm gonna be in a bind. Do you mind if we bang out your bait photos quick? Yeah. Thanks. Cool. A little closer to your reel with the bait. Right there. Good. Cool, man. Gotcha. All right, guys. Here we are. Uh, I I don't know if I've officially introduced today and all that welcome back to the channel this is championship day on lake lewis smith lake lake lewis smith lake so the championship round as you can tell it's blowing just a little bit um I, I got on found a really special spot yesterday afternoon where it just kind of happened i caught like 20 pounds in 30 minutes so but i mean if you look around you got j dub over here jordan lee jesse wiggins all these guys it's gonna be a shootout today, I'm telling you. And we got this big front coming in. The fish are gonna be biting. Y'all stay tuned. It's gonna be interesting.
<laughs> Funny when I say they're here. Look at them, look at them, look at them, look at them blowing up. <laughs> they're freaking blowing up out there. Oh my gosh! Little guy get the party started. He ain't gonna make it, but he's pretty. Score tracker update. Jordan Lee's the first angler with a score of a bass. One pound, eight ounces. Okay. Get it started. Tell us about this area, DC. Oh, well, you know, they're uh, they're running a little bit of water right now, and there is a ton of them down there, guys. I'm, I'm just telling you, this, 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 it's unbelievable how many's down there. I'm about to catch another one right. I think we might make it, boys. Yes, one pound, nine ounces. Score tracker update. There's six anglers on the score tracker. You and Michael Neal both have three pounds, four ounces, two fish. Jordan Lee's in third, three pounds, two ounces, two fish. Jacob Wheeler's in fourth, one fish, two pounds, eight ounces. Yeah, let's do that. One pound, 13 ounces. Well, that hand is good. Appreciate it. You hear that noise? Mm -hmm. Put that water off if I close. Still in first, second 15. 
Jordan Lee's in second, Jesse Wiggins in third, Randy Howes in fourth, they're down in fifth. They're still two pounds, 14 ounces out. Two pounds, eight ounces. I'll just sit down and think about it for a little bit. Yeah, I lost that one, and uh, it was a big one, the biggest bite I've had. Probably a three or four pounder. Lost that one, but, you know, I've got a bunch of different spinning rods on the deck. And uh, this one right here is a 16 hex spinning rod. And uh, this is a drop shot, 3 8 ounce weight. And, uh, yeah, I'm using Active Target just looking at them, but you know, it, it, it's one of the deals. I, I really think sunlight's going to fire them up a lot, but we got all these storms coming in. The sun's trying to peek through there, but I'm trying to catch as much as I can, you know, early because we got a big line of storms coming, and uh, so it may, may mess them up a little bit. So we'll see. Off to a good start, though. Dang, it Joe. started out, but it's the, that meat of the tail laid over on it. He got He got It's a lead still with five score. I don't know. Nine pounds. Marty, what do you think? Jordan that's Jody. That's one of our more experienced four, officials. Nine so pounds, two he calls ounce. the game pretty tight. Jacob Wheeler. He's in sixth. One fish, two pounds, eight ounces. Brent Aylor's in seventh. One fish, one pound, 12 ounces. Octopo, one pound, eight ounces. Edwin Evers and Wesley Strader yet to catch fish. Good one right here, boys. Just stay hooked, baby. Mm. Good one right here. Right. Three plus pounder. Do not make that. Not a full pounder, but a three pounder. A close. He's big as I thought. Hey, he's big right now. Ooh. Look at this right here. It's a hair throwing shad bait. Y'all look in his mouth right there. He's dead in breakfast this morning. Crawfish, shad, two pounds, 11 ounces. Two pounds, four ounces. Oh my goodness, I was are you serious? Oh, yeah, that's really well. That fish got to be bigger than two four. Two pounds, four ounces. Oh my goodness, I was off on him. I'll take him though. Cause that's the lead. Big and
It's showing sure enough right here. It's showing sure enough right here, boys. Yeah, it's showing sure enough right here, boys. Watch out. Boom, boom, boom. Man, I love spotted bass fishing. Two pounds, 12 ounces. There we go. 212, look at that. Look how pretty. That's a Lewis Smith Lake one right there. A little bit more shoulder. He looks like he come from the Coosa River, huh? Buddy, they are down there. I'm just telling you. Might go, be close. Just didn't want to get another fish line in violation. One pound six. One pound nine ounces. Ooh. He did it. He did it. Oh my goodness. They're not not biting. General Tire Weather Center, the international weather expert, chief quasi semi kind of meteorologist, JT Kenny. Depending on what part of the lake you're in, obviously it's going to affect the Sipsy arm, which is you're looking at the lake, the arm furthest to the left, up there by Double Springs and the Arley area, it's going to affect that just about 10.15 or 10.20. So we're gonna have to wait and see what our tournament officials, when they decide that they're going to call this thing because it's, it's impending, it's gonna happen. So we're just gonna have to see when they decide, but we're looking at that rough stuff is gonna hit that Sipsy arm, maybe before that, but definitely by 10.15. Big, big. Please be a spotted bass, because I'm telling you, son, it's a big one. And please stay hooked, baby. Please stay hooked, baby. Oh, it's a big one, too. She's going to town. Biggest one of the day right here, if I can get her in. Oh, please, fish. This is a good one right here. Yes. say a tank I got a hook in me thank you thank you thank you look at all this mess I got boys <laughs> ah, there we go two pounds six ounces okay two six they all feel big because you catch them so deep I mean I caught that fish out of 35 Lead is now eight pounds, one yes. ounce over Michael Neal. And Dustin Connell is over 20 pounds already in this championship round. There we go. There we go. Michael Neal just caught a three pound, one ounce. He's at 15 pounds, two ounces. He's five pounds, zero ounces behind him.
don't. That's how you answer right there. That's how you answer. Two pounds, seven ounces. Boom. Two seven. Let's freaking go. Hey, y'all bring it up over there a little bit. Come on now. Y'all over there just being quiet. Back to a seven pound, seven ounce lead with that two seven for Connell. Playing to the crowd over there on the bank. Spots in the lake and there's current involved. You think he's feeling it? First period, bro. <laughs> Pretty decent period. Just finished up first period. Oh goodness, they were biting a little bit. Oh man. Pretty special little place. Um the current's going, you know, and I rolled in on this area yesterday and I I literally threw somewhere down and I was like, oh my goodness. So just gotta keep biting. You know, I don't I don't know. They may all leave, who knows? But right now it's fun and we're having a good time, so got to keep going. These these guys are the best in the world. They they may find something ten times better, you know. So but right now it's a good time. Sport tracker update, Dustin. You got 17 fish for 36 pounds seven ounces. You got a 17 pounds five ounce lead. Michael Neal did catch a two pounds six ounce to move back into second. We'll do just like we did yesterday. Just tie up, and you will hop in the back of this boat. I'm sure you got stuff to retie. Yeah, I've got to retie. Same broad and all that. <laughs> we need another camera guy, a second camera guy, and a second official. Yeah, I'm worn <laughs> smooth out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about it. Dustin Connell, a 17 pound, 5 ounce lead after just one period on the hunt for his second Bass Pro Tour win. And during this period break, Rob Newell was able to catch up with DC. I've been in the boat with Dustin Connell for the break take. Uh, Dustin, are you straight doing business right now? They're not not biting. So that <laughs> makes that, that means they're biting a little bit. So we're having fun out here, you know, but there's still two more periods left, so just gotta keep pouring the gas on it. Have you ever uh in, in in the history of using this new technology seen so many fish in one spot or caught so many in a row? It's unbelievable. You know, I, I, I pan to the right. I got to pick and choose which ones I can pitch to. You know, the ones that are grouped up are better. Uh, the singles, you can catch one every now and then. But when you see three or four, it's you better get ready. So, When did you discover this spot? It, I mean, have, have you tried this particular spot? I mean, it's an obvious place. Have you tried this before during the event? I've caught them here um, a long time ago, probably six years ago, and, and it was the same conditions. The water got going, you know, the, the whole key here is current. So two turbines are rolling right now. They may cut it off, I, I don't know. But, you know, best case scenario is this storm coming in, they're anticipating rain. So it's just a current place. I love fishing current. I grew up fishing current around the Coosa River, so I'm right at home, you know. So, but, uh, yeah, I have fished here before. The key was is to let it set up. You know, they hadn't been generating a lot, but it's been going for two days now, and they showed up. Yesterday was the first day in this tournament that you visited this spot. Yes, and it was on my mind all week, and I don't know why I did not come here. And I was like, man, I need to go check that. I need to go check that. You know, and I was catching a lot of fish in Rock Creek, but I said, man, this wind is killing me, and I couldn't really fish that good. So I said, well, I can't catch them fast enough doing this, so let's go. And I rode down here, and I was like, oh, my goodness. You can buy thousands and thousands of dollars in these electronics, but it's still what's hidden here with guys like D.C. that give them the intuition. I know a place. I need to go check it now, and it's paying off. All right, thank you, Rob, and thanks to Dustin as well for spending a couple of moments. But uh, past history combined with weather conditions and what you said, Marty, they are anticipating rain. They don't want this fishery to get too high as far as the lake level is concerned. So they're generating some current to try to keep this thing level. What it's doing is activating a bunch of fish for Dustin Connell. Hey, boys. Stick around. Yeah. You can jump yeah. in here. Nice. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I'll enjoy it from this side. We'll get out of your way, DC. I'm in the water. Let's freaking go. Oh, uh, 
There were okay. tanks. They fight hard. We don't have time for that. You want to catch one? We're, we're straight busy. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. I think that's a problem. Yeah, yeah. He said after the tournament, let me get in there. Think anybody be sitting here tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised that I'm putting them in right now. Yeah. That storm is your savior. Three, two, one, launching. Well, Dustin, how do you see period two uh, starting out here? Alongside JT Kenny and Marty Stone, I'm Chad McKee. One more period to go. I think we believed at this point Connell's lead might be 35 pounds after what we saw in the first period. But Marty, it's it's still available for one or two of these anglers to get back into the mix, isn't it? Completely agree. The big thing we're going to find out really quick in this third and final period because Connell pulled off that area midway through that second period and just let it rest. He, he saw where those fish were facing with his forward-facing sonar. They just weren't that active. And so many times when anglers pull off a fish and then go back to him, they immediately fire him back up. If he rolls back in there to begin in the third period and does a lot of damage in a hurry, then this thing is over with, it's done. If he rolls back in there in his third period and they're not biting, then this event just got interesting. And Michael Neal was the runner up to Dustin Connell in the Red Crest. And if Neil had 15 extra minutes, Neil might have won Red Crest. So he knows how to put pressure on anglers. Dry spell popped it right back off. He got it too. I'm talking about. Oh, she got it. Two, 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 two pounds, eight ounces, two eight, two and a half pounds. And that's golden right now because it's the golden hour. Oh my goodness, thank you. Get, get a little momentum back going. Yes. Yes. Come on. Come on. 
pound fifty. Two. Two. Oh, you got to call that. One pound fifteen. Oh, come on, man. Oh, uh, hey. One fifteen. Let's go. Damn. Now. Come on. That's the last fish. This is 56 pounds, 12 ounces. Got an 18 pound, zero ounce lead on second place. them fish around did you see that i literally backed up i seen three of them right there and i backed up I almost let them keep swimming but i thought oh, i need a pitch on them Doink. and a half left in this championship round that has been dominated end to end by dustin connell rob newell is out there on the water first off rob will get an update on what connell is up to because it has slowed down but the weather obviously the front has rolled through. Things have changed just a little bit. Give us a sense of how things have changed weather-wise out there. Oh, it's just cooled off a little bit. Pretty much it's, it's I mean, it was that warm, balmy before that little front went through. Just, I don't want to downplay that front, but trust me, that was nothing like what we went through in Texas today that that really bad front went through. And you might remember that, man. Those guys were talking about the temperature dropping 15 and 20 degrees in a matter of, you know 20 minutes and that was no joke this thing was nothing compared to that we had about i don't know 15 or 20 minutes of rain um and it stopped and the wind switched a little bit and it dropped maybe five degrees um had to put on an extra jacket just to run but it was you know it, it did nothing like that uh, lake fork situation rob we appreciate it we'll let you get back to the water out there check in with you at the end of things today Sounds good. Thanks, Chad. Rob Newell out there on the water, our championship round in progress. We need to get you back out there because there's been a couple of small developments since we left the water to visit with Rob, and one of those coming from Jordan Lee, who's closing in on the lead. Now, if Connell continues a slower pace, maybe this angler can get there. Let's go track Jordan Lee's about a two-pound, six-ounce fish. He's now 15 pounds, two ounces. So, going down. I think so. I found ten of Oh, she's big, boys. She's big. 
please. And don't be no stripe. Oh my god. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Three pounds, three ounces. <clears throat> Woo! <laughs> Look at that. Three pounder. Boom. Man, that's clutch. That fish gives you 69 pounds, eight ounces. 13 pounds, seven ounce lead for a second. 21 pound, 10 ounce lead over third. Let me tell you something. That's way more than what I thought I could catch. But if I don't win, it is what it is. Because I have fish with my butt on. Hold up. I know that big. shaking over here just go if you've ever been 180 in your life just go right now please for me one pound ten ounce. boom boom yes fish gives you 71 pounds two ounces you got a 15 pound one ounce lead on the second this has been a magical little spot down here at the dam for DC. How special is a fishing day like this, man? It don't happen very often. You gotta enjoy it. But, uh... Two minutes. No change. You know, it's... It's one of them deals. We, this is, these are the days we, we dream about, you know. And to do it on the final day, wow. Unbelievable. Cannot believe it happened. One minute, 30 seconds. How much? One minute, 30 seconds. Oh my gosh. No change. For the second time, in as many years, Alabama is sweet home for Dustin Connell. I believe so. He gets his second major national win in his home state of Alabama. I, I don't know. <laughs> One minute. 45 seconds. I'm done. I ain't even pitching no more. Let's enjoy the final 30 seconds plus with now a multi-time Bass Pro Tour champion, Dustin Connell. It is his day at Smith Lake. I really don't, you know. I really don't. Mm. I cried every time I got one of these trophies and I'm trying my hardest not to this time. <laughs> oh my goodness. Five, four, three, two, one. Winds up in the round. Dustin, barring any miracles, you should be stage three champion. Oh my God, dude, I cannot believe it. Unbelievable, man. You know, this week, it was, uh, 
it, it hadn't been easy. You know, I, I started off in Rock Creek and I was skipping docks and I hate fishing that way, but I knew that I just needed to find a school, man. And, and, and I kept fishing that way. And I knew you couldn't win that way, but I did it just to get here. And best decision I ever made was I ran down here yesterday and I pulled up and I seen them here and I was like, oh my goodness. And I knew if I could make it today, that it could happen. And, and I woke up. Oh, man. Hey. Thank y'all. I woke up this morning and I was like, I told my wife, I said, it could happen. I told Brett, my camera guy, I told Danny, you know, and uh, I don't know. I, I, there's a lot of... A lot of people I want to thank, you know, uh, thank the good Lord Buff, and uh, I want to thank my mom, my brother, my, my wife, Victoria. We got it done, baby. Woo! It was so, like, you ain't got to clue, that last 30, 45 minutes, holy crap. You guys can make noise, it's okay. Here we go. <clears throat> All right. Woo! That was nice. Yeah. <laughs> and applause, everybody, applause! There we go. Yeah. It has been one year and nine days since your last big victory at the Red Crest, but this one here, Dustin Condell, is just as emotional as that one, I'm sure. Absolutely. You know, I uh, I see all these other guys, they win these big red trophies, and uh, Red Crest was was awesome but just getting one of these regular season trophies it's unbelievable and it happens when you least expect it you, you, know. you said it was a magical day describe that to the crowd you know i what was crazy is yesterday in the knockout round i found this spot and um when i pulled up it's like your adrenaline started rushing when i when i've seen them and i was like oh my goodness they're here oh i gotta make this championship round and i knew whenever i slid in that championship round something special could happen i told my wife that this morning i was like it could happen and it did and uh you know i called them my favorite way spotted bass and uh it was just a special day you know, you know, so many anglers throughout the uh, tournament went up there and didn't have the success. What made it so special today? You know, I think a lot of it had to do with current. Um, you know, the water has been high on this body, you know, and they started pulling like two turbines, and that's a pretty good bit of current through there. And it just stacked all those spots up on this big rock ridge, you know, through there. And I could pan over there with active target, and I'd see them. And if they ever got up off the bottom on bait, you could pitch in there, and it was automatic. And uh, I think I ended up catching like 70 fish today. That's unbelievable. And I mean, it was a, like, you can tell I got a little bass on Oh, yeah, a little, a little yeah, bit there. A bass on You had Jordan Lee behind you, and he was steady through the second and third. You had to be a little nervous. Yeah. Yeah, kudos to Jordan, by the way. He caught him good. And, uh, you know, I was sitting there thinking, I was like, oh, gosh, please don't break that 10-pound barrier. Because you could easily catch two five-pounders here, and, and then, boom, somebody else is leading. So I caught those last few fish, and I was like, I just won the tournament. But I was still checking three minutes in. 
<laughs> yeah. You know, and as much of an emotional high this is, you had some uh, terrible news this week about the passing of your uncle. I did. Uh, yeah, my uncle Peanut, he, he passed away, and I wasn't able to make his service, you know, yesterday, but uh, love him. He's, you know, very special to me, and, you know, it's just those things happen. So, but this right here is uh, pretty special. Ab absolutely. And they say confidence is the key. Winning this one right before we head to Red Crest, the confidence cup uh, probably overrunning right now. Absolutely. You know, I I kind of felt like uh, after last season, I was like, man, I, I, I honestly felt like I was kind of in a slump a little bit because I hadn't made a top 10 other than Red Crest. And I, I came close several, several times and it just didn't never work out. And, uh, you know, I had a tough tournament at Darbonne. And then uh, Fort was really good tournament for me, but I did not see this week happening like this. It just, I knew something could happen special. It, you just had to find the right little zone. And yesterday with an hour left, I found it. Yeah, you know, with a one, one eight, you said you caught 70. The, the score tracker would have been off the charts. Did you know you had to find that pot of fish that was the right size? Were you hunting for the big ones, or were you going, it's going to be about the numbers this one? You know, uh, I think the biggest key this week on Smith Lake was all this, this warm weather, and then you got warm rain that comes in. It kind of puts all these fish in these creeks and kind of a funk you know they're, they're wanting to spawn but they're not really getting up there yet the water's high and it's muddy those fish down there at the dam are hardcore pre-spawn fish they're fit the water tent was 52 it's 62 in these creeks and it don't make really sense but those fish were grouped up and i knew if someone can find them in that deep clear water yeah. they could win the tournament you know favorite fishing the uh, sponsor of this one uh, you a uh, favorite fishing angler who else helped you out on this one yeah you know uh favorite of course uh guggen baits guggen squad uh bass mafia um i brought them on this year they got all awesome products um you know nsr fishing real tree fishing um getting ready for turkey season here soon i'm planning on going with those guys so real tree um triton boats mercury the list goes on power pole Lawrence, I could not have caught him really today without that active target. You know, I'd have just been randomly pitching around. You know, I probably would have caught some, but yeah, but, but uh, yeah, I got a lot of people supporting me. You know, three stages, three brand new winners on the Bass Pro Tour. Uh, do you think you can pull another one out this season? I got my eye on that red, Chris. That, that, that I have an opportunity to go back to back, and it's just been a, a blessing of the last year. What do you say, a year and nine days? Year and nine days. Unbelievable. It yeah. is. Yeah, it's been pretty good. And Less than three weeks away. I'm, I'm looking <laughs> forward to that. That's going to be a big show, and uh, that's the one that you need to win. Well, I say we celebrate this one before you try to uh, uh, retain that Red Crest Can championship. You may pick it up. Oh Let's hear it gosh. for our favorite fishing yeah. stage three champion presented by Mercury, Dustin Connell. Hey, that was impressive. I was like, he come close. Not close enough. Not 15, <laughs> not more, not 15 more pounds. Hey, we got a little more of this. How about that? Boom. All right, let's do it. Hey, look. crack them open when you win, man. We got it done, baby. Look at that. Boom. Freaking awesome week, man. We're going to close it out. Head on back to the house. Oh, let me see. It's been fun.